Perhaps the simplest form of while loop is the infinite loop. And that's what we're going to talk about in this video. Don't forget to subscribe and click that notification bell to get updated on my upcoming videos, especially in this series. The infinite loop sets the condition to always true, whether intentional or caused by some logical errors in a program. This is a dangerous situation to be in because it may cause your system to hang, freeze your computer, and who knows what. Now, when do you need an infinite loop? Infinite loops are not recommended if you want your code to run efficiently. Always provide a condition in your loops to have better control of your codes. But there may be times though when you need to use it intentionally like demonstrating how it works. Well, obviously this is a trivial matter as it does not affect any mission critical system operation. Let's take for example from the previous video in this series. This is a while loop that prints a random number indefinitely until the keyboard interrupt is issued like a control break or a forced interrupt issued by the system. The while loop takes a form as shown in the following code which prints random numbers between and including 1 and 100. You may need an infinite loop because you are not yet sure about how to formulate the appropriate loop condition. This usually is a dilemma of people learning how to code for the first time. You may need an infinite loop to test out a piece of code in your program for an undefined period of time or testing out the whole system against an infinite loop situation. Operating systems like Windows and Linux have a number of instances of infinite loops and only terminate when the system is shut down. If you did not put the code intentionally, infinite loop may occur as a logical error in the program. Take for example the following code that's supposed to print numbers from 1 to 10. If this set of codes is supposed to do what needs to be done, that is printing numbers 1 to 10, then this Y loop does not cut it. First of all, it only prints the number 1 and keeps printing it infinitely. To fix this, the variable number has to increment each time it is printed. So we add the line of code that increments number by 1. But if you notice, there is still another error that needs to be fixed. It doesn't print the number 10. One way to fix this is to change the relational operator in the condition from less than to less than or equal to. The correct code is as follows. Now the while loop is completely running properly. Our next video will cover counter control loop, so if you don't want to miss it, please subscribe to my channel.